But you know, wherever I am, wherever I am, I've managed to pick up an old friend of mine. Uh, yes. This guy here. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I'll let him explain who the hell he is. Uh, I'm Ken Sagos. I played Ken Cade in Nightmare 3 and 4. And he's paying me well to be here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get him a sandwich or something like that. He's, he's lost weight. He's becoming a little tiny guy. I lost no weight. <laughs> <laughs> I lost a piece of weight. <laughs> a piece of weight. If you send me a piece of cake, and that bitch will be right back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, oh, I can't say those words. You, you can't, can't say whatever you, can't you want. Say cake. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You, you're the one that was started that and say I can't say words like cake <laughs> and ice cream and shit like that. Yeah, I, I sure got. So last night. Last night, we're being fed at the event that we're at. We're at this theater. This theater is so cool. Um, it's a it's an original drive-in theater from, what, probably like 49 or something like that. And uh, it's got like the original 35 millimeter. It's yeah. the Mahoning uh, drive-in theater. It's got the original uh, theater and everything. And I swear, walking into the projection room is... It's like walking back. Yeah, it, it, it was like walking back in time during the great <laughs> birth of a nation movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I was excited because, you know, back then when they made those movies, we couldn't You wouldn't go, go in there and couldn't go <laughs> <laughs> See, they see things differently from me. Yeah. I can't get out. You know, I started shaking. Like, oh, you know. <laughs> When they go in there, they say, oh, antiques. When we go in there, we say, oh, where's the ropes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm out of here. No. I'm cool. No, that's, 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 it, 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 it's absolutely, it, it's such a piece of the past. It's, a, it, it's amazing because at the same time that they made those theaters, they were making these palaces that you went and sat in, right? And right. and yet th these were very utilitarian and and very uh like like the bathrooms were um you know as crude as you can possibly imagine and all the rest of that. <laughs> but this is just this is just absolutely a slice out of you know 1949. It's amazing. It was. There it was. was when we were doing a group photo and there's this microphone that was sitting there. Uh that was like 1949 and yeah. it was like the microphone i sort of got the microphone was like uh the size of a football and and i thought oh it'd be really funny if i did it was not picking up a weight <laughs> it, was, it was heavy it was it was, it was, it was like i thought oh i'll just pick up that you know that microphone and i'll put it in front of me like a like you know i'm the great broadcaster and i couldn't pick it up <laughs> <laughs> God, God damn it! And, and it was not because they had the VCRs there; they had old movies. It, to me, it, it was really nice. It was. Really it was. Nice. It was so cool. And over in the corner, when you walked in, uh, over in the corner, they had a shelf, uh, a shelving unit, and what they had put on it is they had put on the reels of every um, trailer that had ever been done. Right, you know, in oh, the trailers, man. they they they're they're about this big, little thirty five millimeter th film that big, and I swear I could mm -hmm. I could just see films that I had done like Critters Two and one of the Nightmares and all these these you know that they just had mm -hmm. the names written in you know yeah. like pencil on the outside yeah. of them. It was a trip. God, it, 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 it was a beautiful piece of history, and it was the kind of history that you know that people took time. And that when they made yeah. something, they, they put their hearts in it. Yeah. It, it wasn't a hit and run like they are today. Yeah. It, well, these theaters, you, you know, this theater is still running. It's one of the last ones that's running uh, 
still running an absolute 35 millimeter programs, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, every night. Just, just cool. So I've been seeing a lot yeah, of pictures right. from that event. And uh, you've seen a lot. Yeah. There's a little nightmare. Uh, there's a nightmare set there. That's kind of like uh, the door. Yeah. 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 They, they had the little, little front, front of the house and, 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 uh, and I walked up. <laughs> oh, here we go. I walked up to the guy I was building. I walked up to the guy that was building it, right? You know, and, and he, he's just standing there. And I go, well, I, I say, well, which one is this? Three or four? And he turns around and just like, he goes, oh, well, this isn't really either one of them. But, you know, because three had two steps and number four had three steps. And this, and he just started just going <laughs> Then I was like, "You talking about the house?" Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was I, talking about the house because oh, he was working on it. He he was still building it. They all look the same. It, yeah, and exactly. and that's and I was standing there and I go, "Dude, I designed that one." And <laughs> I, started, I don't even remember. But they, but they had the tricycle. They had, he had an old old tricycle. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it was a uh, it was cool. It was quite a little. Uh, it, it was an homage to us. Yes. Yes. It was an homage to yes. us. <laughs> it's awesome. I love the photos coming from there. Uh, so, what's it like signing uh, in a pandemic? What's the What's the feeling like? Well, you see, now there's a big difference between my signings and his signings. Okay. Because people come in and go, oh, "Look, it's Kincaid." <laughs> You know, and they just kind of like, eh, and they they line up. He didn't have to do shit. He yes, just, I do. yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, uh-huh. yes, I do. You think we don't have to do it? If you don't have, have to do shit. I was there. I saw you not doing shit. That was because I was ready to go home. Oh, <laughs> See, well, that's that's the that <laughs> Me now. Now here's the difference is, is me. I you know they're, they're as soon as they go to Cancades place then then they're there there's a triangulation between them and their car right and they're like busting on the way to their car and yeah. i have to i have to, have to suck, suck them in for 30 feet out you know you gotta make some noise get their attention before they make a beeline for the door <laughs> <laughs> i have to track them down you know uh uh i think uh uh peter was saying that that what really happens is that eventually uh, they're just paying me forty dollars to let them go. <laughs> <laughs> well, please, please. He, he, he's good at marketing. I'm not that good at it. He's good at it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I wasn't, absolutely nobody would come over <laughs> and see me. Nobody. They don't know who I am. The they book. know who he is. That's how he sells know. his books. The best part about this book is the insult that comes with it. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, I, 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 because I had on the mask, I had so many asked, are you really the, uh, that guy? And I would say, yes, I am. And they would say, take off the mask uh, so I can see. And then they would look like it could be him. And then they would say things like, well, you're not Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> As long, as long as they didn't say I was not Yafiet Koto. Well, there you go. I mean, yeah. <laughs> then you draw the line. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this is where I draw the line. That's it. It, it, it's at least with me. They're not going to recognize me in the first place. They're not going to. They're not going to misrecognize me for somebody else that they didn't know either. <laughs> I don't care. I, you know, I, there have been times that they have asked some about um, Lawrence Fishburne, mm-hmm. and I would sign his name. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you get two for one. <laughs> <laughs> Did they come back ten minutes later? They get two true? for one, you know, huh? Huh? No, they get two for one, you know. I gotta, t- I, I gotta tell you though, is is uh, it, it, Ken is the most uh, uh, laid back <laughs> person you could possibly get. I mean, it's like you know, explain something to him, and he goes, okay. 
<laughs> okay, don't bother me until then, okay? Okay, but that's cool. I just <laughs> want a peaceful life. You just want to. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm in my 50s. They should have never given me a pension. <laughs> They should have never given me a pension, and they should have never let me know how to live off unemployment. <laughs> they should never have. As long as I can pay my rent and wipe my ass, I'm okay. <laughs> I live a very peaceful life. I really this do. Is, and by the way, this, that's that's utterly bullshit because he's actually working on his own projects. Yes, that's, so you can't yes. possibly totally want a peaceful life. It's a peaceful life, you know. I do. I live a peaceful life. So, I go down to my room, you know. I ask to be put in a room on the, the you know, the bottom floor. In the bar floor, right? And then I, when I saw Mark across the street, across the hall, yeah. you know, I was wondering why aren't you up there with the rest of them. <laughs> See, but but you two, you two were in a perfect position so that you could you could uh, you could not talk to each other, and and you could not wave at each other. You could not wave at each other. Uh, you could not call each other. You could not go out to eat together all the time if you wanted. I do that no matter what I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what you guys are such a good day. The way I look at it is, it, and it happened. If the elevator doesn't work, I can still leave without any problem. <laughs> a low maintenance life. That's yeah, exactly, that's because the, ele the elevator did went out, went out. It, it did. It, 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 it did. It did. Yeah, no, it's a, it's and, a, a low maintenance life at best. And what did they say? They said, "But Ken, you like to walk in the way," and I said, "On my own terms." <laughs> Walking up the stairs when the elevator is not working is your, your turn. Yeah, that's that's their turn. Yes, that's it's not turn. you. That's that's, not that's on them. Right. I got. It. I can see it. All right. I can see it. So, so uh, I would like to show a trailer that you released on July of this year for your most recent project, Ken. And then we could talk about that afterwards. Yes. Uh, yes. See how tech, see how high tech we are? Yes, I I, see. I promise you I'm not gonna talk about you uh, next. Hey, I gotta get you some help. Where's your phone? Where's your hey, hey, don't die on me. Hold on, Harv. Hold on! Freeze! You know, I was thinking, I was thinking, oh, the great thing about that is like, like I would recognize light. you from a thousand miles away. It was like, light. On that like a just, of me. You're just sitting just exactly like you. You know, you look like you. It, it looks like the turtle. Um, is this the little whippersnapper you told me who went to law school and passed the bar at what, 14, you say? Yes, I'm to ask you, that's... Deshaun McHenry, the defendant's son. <laughs> I find this to be all quite amusing. There's not going to be a plea bargain. Excuse me? You're not representing my dad. We've already established Carrie's not representing your dad. I know. I am. You're what? Going to represent my dad. I agree with you. No child has ever stood before a judge to defend a case in the court of law. The Burnside versus Evans case proves that a judge can grant anyone who can appear in court confident. I am quite familiar with Burnside versus Evans, young man. And I am also quite familiar with my judicial responsibilities. Thank you very much. Your Honor, I received my law degree from the same institution as you. Out. Oh, baby, are you sure you want to do this? Thank you. Okay. Tell us something so, about that. Yes. Well, as of this morning at, at noon, I have, I'm in over a hundred film festivals across the world. 
and I have won over 70, 77 awards. Wow. And 11 of them is our best wow. director awards. And that's what makes me happy. And, you know, and, and it's my hope that I can get this as a feature film. And so I decided, you know, that instead of waiting for Hollywood to discover you, hell, I go out there and discover myself and then Hollywood will come to me, hopefully. See, now, now you were accusing me. Uh, uh, no, uh, I wasn't. No, I, if I know how to go out and get people, but you know how to go out and get things, man. Look at that. You're doing, oh. you're doing the thing. So uh, uh, how long is the, the short? The, the short is... 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes long. It's just under 30 minutes. How, how can somebody see that? Uh, right now, because it's in film festivals, I, I really not supposed to put it in the oh, public. Okay. Gotcha. But in about six weeks to two months, I can let it out to be seen. But what I can do is when it's shown at film festivals, you know, I can tell you what film festivals they are in and you can go and watch them yourself. Then. Cool. Cool. Ah. Hmm. Well, we'll we'll have to do that. Yes. So, but what I need is people to go to the YouTube and like and write a comment because in a couple of weeks I'm going to be meeting with some. Producers. I liked. I haven't written a comment yet because I haven't been able to figure out what button to push. But when we're done with this, you. I don't know. What the. What the hell are you I don't asking know. me? I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I'm not a tech. So you don't know, because you know how, I mean, I know how to like, but I, I never comment <laughs> yes, on anything. Yes. It never occurred to me to comment yeah. on anything. Yes. Maybe. Like, comment, and know. subscribe. There what? Like, comment, and subscribe, Mick. We did our part. The, yeah, like, comment. Uh, we've actually asked people to do that before, and I still don't know how to do it. And I, I'll throw the link to the trailer up to uh, up on our uh, Facebook page, so uh, all of our listeners can do that as well. So that's seven people. <laughs> yeah, that's seven people. Seven more than you have, have now. That's, how that's you seven have. people more than you have. That's, 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 What's, that's, who actually sees this piece of crap? Uh, I'm a gonna lot see of this show. No, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see it now, and I'm gonna ask <laughs> either one of my friends who, to see hey, it. Hey, hey. Uh, TJ, how many people see our, our, our little piece of whatever it is we do here? It ranges from around 5,000 to about 25,000 per episode. So there you go. It's that. See? See? See, I've been working at this a long time. I'm yeah. not going to talk about you at least for another two days. I'm not. I really am not. I really am not. I'm going to write it down. Don't right. say, don't say it, nothing it, about, about it, him. Oh. Don't say nothing about him until Wednesday. <laughs> but one thing that we did find out is it's not just about how many people who listen, it's who listens. And a lot of the guests that we bring on that we don't necessarily know personally end up actually already listening to us. So that's, I think that's a good sign. Yeah. We have discovered that we have had guests on and, and discovered that they were already, uh, fans and yeah but but you that, never but you never let me know that you had this <laughs> <laughs> is that my job is that no it's tj's job tj <laughs> tj it's that's your job i've asked you yeah, many times to reach out to ken just I, doing yeah you know you know, you know for my sure. benefit i've asked mick on several occasions to reach out to you to have you on before so I'm just gonna say. Yes, I'm just that's, gonna say that's okay. Now wait a minute. No, no, <laughs> wait a minute. Okay. I was waiting until it was incredibly easy. Until I got <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I was trying to be as laid back about things yes. as he is. All he had to say is that, "Look, man, you be begging, <laughs> not pay back. <laughs> you be begging." <laughs> God damn it. Okay. You'd be it's paying over my, my money. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. I'm telling you how to do it. No, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. That, no, that's true. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's, that's right. Every time you do something, you ask enough to do this for you. So I have to tell you. So so uh, I, I told TJ, I said, yeah, I, I, I think that. Uh, it, it, and and by the way, you're the, uh, the first out of out, out of this group that. Uh, or no. New. Um, Toy came on. 
we've had toy yes come on a long time yes. ago but uh in this group uh i i was like man i i really want to bring i, I really want to uh bring ken on and uh teach he goes i i actually call out the phone dad would say if you would ask, I see, you're just it. that cool, though. See, you're. you're yeah. I'm gonna say. No, no, I'm gonna say this. Warren Fishborn is cooler. Oh, but there we go. You are. You are a cool motherfucker. But Lon Fishborn won't do your show. <laughs> <laughs> so are you? Thinking, are you talking about cool as in ice cold? Yeah, are that you was, talking about. That was, no, are that you was talking about cool as in. Cool. Well, let's either see. either either way, I just got dissed, didn't I? No, yeah. <laughs> you, you dissed no. yourself. I did. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You said yeah, that was full you said the cooler person, the cooler won't, cooler even person won't even give you the respect to come to your show. Hey. Wow. I'm here to educate. Yeah. <laughs> to Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> so so TJ I. Was there a question that you wanted to ask him, or did you want him just to mock? Uh, you yeah, just want us to set up here and be your yeah, next yeah. and be your next comedy act. Yeah. Salt and pepper. That's, 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 that's how it works. Onion, <laughs> salt, and pepper. That's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's who we are. <laughs> I get the salt and pepper right here. Yeah. We're expanded. Yes. Salt and pepper is yes. what we are. So, come on. You got a question there? Hey, wake uh, up. You got to do a cameo on. It's not, you got to do a cameo, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Can you talk about that? Yes, I did a cameo, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I talked about it, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I love these shows. <laughs> <laughs> I love hey, these. Listen, hey, I agree. I agree. <laughs> only to pull you. Only to pull you. Uh, I didn't say that anybody had to be prepared. Yeah, he had that guy. Oh, we did. We did a show called yeah, Always. Oh, we no, he did. <laughs> hey, that was. He did. That, that was his long. Oh. That was his late. That was. All uh, you had to do uh, was move your head, and you would have been Stevie Wonder. Are uh, you? <laughs> <laughs> You always did. Oh, you know. I can't believe that. Oh, me. Uh, yeah. That was a good one. That was good. I like that. that now, talk, really about, uh, talk about the first time you ever met Mick. Uh, the what? When's the me? first time you met the crazy yeah, guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you exactly when it was. When? It was on the set. It had to be yeah, on the you. Set. You were breaking through the fucking wall. <laughs> oh, that was that <laughs> right, right. Oh, huh. I, I was too busy trying to zoom the direct out. <laughs> uh, you, you, were, you, you were trying to break through the wall, and and, and if I do believe that uh, the first wall that we had there was a little hard to break through, uh, possibly, and then and then it was the second one that you actually broke through. I remember it was two walls. I don't think it was that it was difficult. It was that, you know, you no, were, you had a line. The problem was that you had to say a line right after you broke yeah. out of it. And I didn't understand what he meant. I didn't know that they was on the other side, that they yeah. were shooting. Yeah. Because, because Chuck, you were lost. Yeah, Chuck was not clear with a lot of things. That Chuck was said. never clear about anything. You know. Chuck was kind of a, yeah. You know. I, I, you know, Chuck was Chuck. Yes, yeah, Chuck <laughs> was Chucky. Chuck, Chuck <laughs> he was pretty close to reading Chucky. He was. <laughs> Let me shut up. I you, may need a job. Yeah, yeah, you may need a job someday. Hey, but I don't. I'll tell you exactly. That guy, that guy was the worst, man. Chuck, Chuck was one of these people that um, it's like no matter how many discussions you had with him, no matter how much you talked to him, no matter how many drawings he had no matter if it was written down or signed by him, as soon as he walked onto the set, uh, he, he would say something like, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't really know what I actually do want, but this is not it. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> dude, dude, you, you knew this. He didn't have a mat. He didn't, 
it's weird. It's for a director. He didn't have the imagination of what it was all going to look like or come together, mm -hmm. you know? So I can totally see if he just like pulled him up to the wall and just said, Oh, here, break through this and then start the scene. You know, it's, he, he didn't, he, he wasn't a, a, a very communicative person or if he did communicate with you, it was wrong. <laughs> Just well, you know, I, I didn't find out till later that there was a lot of stuff that was going on there because it was like I was, I am here. Once I finished what I was supposed to do, I yeah. went back to my room. So it was only later that I found out that there was, everybody was at war with each other. Oh, it was an utter, it was absolutely, it was a daily battle. I, I never saw any of that. And I think. See, that's, that's how cool you are, man. You're just like, you, you're, you are the utter definition of cool. <laughs> Definition. <laughs> so, so, you know, when people ask me what happened, I can't really say anything. The only like, thing that I like knew Miles Davis went that way, uh, he'll be in his trailer until, you know, it's time for him to come yeah, out. Yeah, I, I didn't. You know, I, I only thing I knew is Rodney was in love with Patricia Arquette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all I knew. He was, he was like a little rabbit. He was, you know, he just loved <laughs> Patricia Arquette. And Patricia Arquette took me home. And I lived in like the Watts area. So I will always have respect for her there because she went over there in that neighborhood at nighttime to take me home. There you go. That, that, that's cool. You know, down, you actually down by the towers? Not far. Not far from the towers? Inglewood. Cool. Oh, Inglewood. Okay. Inglewood. Oh, well, you know, we can't talk about us now because we have the farm. We got the, uh, the stadium, we got everything over there. Yeah, we yeah, got everything over yeah, there. It's, we we are just nothing like we are days. the who. We are the who. Yeah. <laughs> we are the who's who. The who's who. Yes. But yeah, that's right. You're who. coming up in the world, man. Your who. Your taxes about time to double. I'm t when sure. I, you know what? The who's who it has to pay a lot more rent. <laughs> it has to pay now. a lot more rent. That's <laughs> <Not> right. <more rent. laughs> that's right. <laughs> a lot more rent. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so then, um, the, the, the weird, the weird thing about three and I never understood is that you were just kind of faded, faded back and left in the room, you know, with a lot, uh, uh, so supposedly what was it that you were supposed to have, to have gone after the room? What room? You, you were in the, the room of mirrors. What are you talking about? The the the, the hall the hall of mirrors. Oh, I, I oh I don't know. You came out of that. I I, I, just... I, I I do know that that was the only the time that there was a confrontation me verbally with someone else, but I don't want to call their name. I just remember we had to pull through, and, right? And pull us through. We spoke and pulled through the mirror. Or right, something. right, right. It didn't matter to me because I had a stunt man. Right. And he, he wound up with a huge chunk out of him. Really? About this big. Really? Yeah. Because we didn't we didn't have money. We actually used uh, 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 the some people agreed to actually use uh, some of that glass that was out there was actually plate glass. It was actually real mirror. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he wound up he got cut? Huge, yeah, he did. And I have to give him a ride now. He should be rich. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. I have to give him a ride sometime. Right. He should that's, be rich. That's right. Well, you should you should bring it up with him, man. Yeah, come Ma on. I, I, did you do four? Yeah, I did four. Do you remember the time when my dog died and I died? Were you yeah, there? I remember. Yeah. Okay. Well, 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 the okay. I went away. No, I, all I know is that, you know, it was a Friday, it was a Thursday night, and I the, all those lights was over me. And I, I'm surprised you don't remember that. And so while I was there, I closed my eyes, and I went to sleep, and the light above me busted, and it fell. Oh, yeah. No, and it you, fell. You're right. I it it that. fell. And, you know, and they wouldn't let me open my eyes. I had to get up and shake my head like this here. And I just said, all I could say was, damn, I could have kept one eye open and I would have been blind as hell, but I would have been rich. Yeah, well, that's, 
This is a good point. Yeah, because because we would have had it on film. I mean, for one thing, yeah. right? Yeah. And and you would be on this loop forever. Yeah. Yeah. What about Rich? You know what? This is Rich. What do you want me to produce this week? <laughs> Yeah. It would have uh, been new line, it would have been old line. line. <laughs> it would have been my line. Yes. So I, I, I remember so that. So what did you think of that junkyard? I like junkyard the, was one of my favorite I liked sets. the junkyard. I, I, I liked <laughs> the junkyard. I liked, I was always intrigued. I guess, TJ, you're not doing anything, right? Yeah, so I get, just sits back there. He's I like the junkyard. I like who created the junkyard. And because I asked you for some pictures of the junkyard, but you never, you said you, know, you lost them. This is not true. I sent you the pictures. No, I'm talking about some close-up pictures of me with the, in the junkyard. Well, you, I don't have pictures. Uh, yeah, I don't have that. No, I, I mean, I, I really like the junkyard. <laughs> It took a week to film it. It took uh, about uh, a week, four months to make. It. They, they was going to uh, film that in two days. You know that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. No, we, we two days. Yeah, that, I, I, yeah. They, that was such a massive undertaking, though. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, uh, the reason I know is because I was only booked. For, for three the two days. days. For three days. For three, I was booked right. for two days there. You're be at the school. School and, and there. Right. That was what I was right. booked for. But then they called back and they gave me a week. And I think I got a week and a day. Yeah. Yeah. You because know. it was, uh, that that was, that. you see, I don't think that they ever came down to get an idea of the width and breadth of the junkyard. They assumed that it was going to be like uh, the Nightmare on Th Street 3-1. You know, let's let's your pocket junkyard that you slip in your, you know, but uh, but I kind of. Um, uh, but did he get a nomination? That should have got a nomination. Yeah, you know, it should have got. It, a was, nomination. it was it yep. was a, it was quite a thing, you know. Yeah. And uh, it, talk talk about your things that people don't do these days. This no, is two old men talking about it here. You know, you don't get, you people these days. You don't build shit. You don't build nothing. Yeah, you don't build nothing. What, what was that? That, huh? that? That's you guys. That's a physical representation of you guys looking at modern Hollywood. <laughs> I get a question for you guys to, uh, to wrap things up. So where can f uh, fans find you over the next coming days? What events do you have immediately coming up? And uh, what's next for you? We are, of all things, we're going to be at a place called Boobs Brewery. <laughs> yeah. I kept thinking they was talking about boobs, and I <laughs> and I and, and I'm getting why do you know how do, who gonna be concentrating on a autograph when they're talking about boobs? Yeah, and so I don't know. They've been there for some reason. They don't want me to go. It's the name. <laughs> Jesus, uh, it's the name of a, a 1880s brewery, and the it's actually the name of it's a guy's name, B U B E S. Oh, so uh, it, but you know the thing is, is it's it's this big brewery that that you know has tunnels under the, the ground as oh tunnels. tunnels yeah I don't do tunnels I don't <laughs> tunnels. We're not going to be in trouble. No, no. You, like you don't have to go down there. You, you don't have to. You're trying to throw the underground railroad on me. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't going to pull the underground railroad. Yes, they were. Get me, I, Harriet. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's where we're going to be. We're going to be at Boobs. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, you know, the thing is, is here's the thing is we can't kill them off on Tuesday because we're bringing them back on Thursday. So we're going to be there both days and, uh, and there'll probably be more of this silliness uh, that'll go on then. Okay. Awesome. So uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's, a delay. You go? there's a delay. There's a delay. Yeah, it's a delay because you're okay. on a Wi Fi internet. Uh, you're on the hotel you're on Wi Fi. Today. <laughs> okay, so until next, <laughs> until next time, guys.